Merry Christmas! I've got my Christmas tree up behind me. It's gorgeous. It's just that time of year. It's the time of year of giving. I want to give back and you'll find out how I want to give back. But first I want to tell you that I wanted to do a wrap up of 12 months of Sew Sampler. So I open these every month for you. I get so excited for what I open, but you don't really know what I use or what I like. So I did say in a few videos I'd do a review, but I haven't gotten to that. So I thought maybe a wrap up of all the sew samplers would be a great way to go back, review them, look at them, see what I used, see what I didn't use, see what I liked. This is just gonna be part one, the first six months of November, 2021 through April, 2022. Uh, I did all of them, but it ended up being a really long video, so I'm going to separate it. And in separating the two, I may have two giveaways. I know I'm having a giveaway with this one, and if it goes well, I will probably do a giveaway with the second one. I want to give back to everybody who subscribed to me and stuck with me this year, um, watched my videos, did comments, did sew-alongs with me. It has been a fantastic year and I want to let you know that I appreciate you. So let's get started going through the first six months, hang around till the end of the video and you'll find out about the giveaway. So let's get started. All right, here's uh, the first box I'm gonna show, go you through. It's from November, 2021 and it's called Shine Bright. And the um, we got the Shooting Stars Lovely Lily Jelly Roll, which is right here in this pattern that we also got, because you get a pattern every single time um, with all the goodies you get. So the first thing I got was this Gypsy Quilter Magnetic Wand. I gave this to my mom. She uses pins and I use clips. She uses this all the time. I was just down there the other day and it's sitting right by her machine and she was gonna use it to pick up some things from decorating the Christmas tree that were metal on her floor. So this works great and she really likes it. So she has that. We got the nail that open thimbles, which I don't use. I can't even find the large one. This is the medium. It's for people who have long nails and I don't have long nails. I mean, it can be for anybody, but it's for long nails. So you can stick your fingernails or you can stick your fingers in and your fingernail can go over the edge of this. So we got those. Like I said, I don't, I don't really use thimbles that much. So I haven't used these, but I can see their value for people who have long nails. So this is the Cream Cindy Seam Ripper. I use this all the time. It sits in my machine over here. I just flip it up and it fits right in there perfectly so I know where it's at every time. You can wear it like this or sometimes I just hold it. Um, I feel like I have more control with this. I can just put my little red ball right in here on the inside of my seam and I put my pointer on the outside and I just push the fabric along that ball. So my point is sticking up away from the inside of the fabric. So I'm not going to point into anywhere that I want to be the outside of my quilt. It's always going to be in the seam allowance. I have other seam rippers. I use them if I can't find this one, but usually it's sitting right in my machine and I can find it. So this is my go-to. I use it all the time. So this was a great find in this um, sew sampler box. And then the quilt we did, I had my mom come up. She used to come up, she still does, come up every Thursday during the winter and we work on a quilt and she needed her mojo back from a few years of not quilting. So we started this one. And I'm gonna throw a picture in right now to show you what it looks like. It still needs to be quilted, but we did get it done. It was very easy. Um, not very hard at all and we did it together. So that's what that quilt looks like. So that's the no or yeah, November 2021 sew sampler box. It was a good one. Okay, the December 2021 sew sampler was called Dream Plan Make. We got the Celestial Junior Jelly Roll which we used in this quilt right here and I'll show you that in a minute. We also got these John James size 10 sharps and I actually, well, let me show you this. This is a bejeweled needle holder and it's really cute because it looks like lipstick 
and a lot um, your needles. And so that's where my needles ended up was in here. And uh, but yeah, that's a great addition too because I really, I only had pin cushions. I'm not a very flare type person. So stuff like this, I wouldn't buy them for myself, but since I'm getting it in the sew sampler, and I don't have nails, so it's hard to open. I will use this. It's really cute. It's easy to find. So when I need needles, they're right there. So that's really cute. I really liked that. And the needles, I did use one to bind a quilt. So then I got this mini quilt calendar and I did use this for a while until I got a new calendar. So that worked out great too. And the ambiance quilt which is right here utilize the celestial junior jelly roll fabrics and again my mom needed her mojo back for quilting so i gave her this pattern and she ran with it she put it together it's beautiful i'm waiting to quilt it and i'm going to throw a picture in right now of what it looks like before it's quilted but my mom did do this one i bought all the fabrics and I gave it to her and she put it together and she did a beautiful job. So we're gonna have this quilt also. So that is the December 2021 sew sampler box. Again, I get things that I never would think to buy or for myself, but since I get them, they're just such wonderful little finds that, you know, they're just cute things like this. So there you go, December 2021. All right, so the January 2022 sew sampler was full of things here that I use, that I'm going to use also. But let's start, let's start with the um, Aqua Chain Piece Thread Cutting Gizmo. I use this all the time. I didn't chain piece much before I got this just because it was hard to clip everything. This sits right next to my machine and I chain piece everything you can just chain piece you can bring it up and you can just clip between like that it is great it comes with a little uh screwdriver and some blades so you can take your blades out i think it came with five blades so you just unscrew this replace your blade and yeah it's gonna last for a while i think i've got four i think i've only replaced the blade once so it's gonna last for a while i love this i got this pin cushion which is the dotty pin cushion with minder. It does have this metal, this magnetic metal piece. Now, again, I don't use pins. I use this mostly for taking pictures with my blocks. So it like this, they used it in this picture. That's what I use it for. But if you're a pin cushion person and you want a magnet, I don't know if it would, yeah, you can put your pins up there, maybe a needle, not sure. If I was more, if I use more pins, I may know more, but you know, I, this is beautiful and uh, I think it would make a great pin cushion for someone who uses pin cushions. We got the seam line glue. I think I might've used it once, but it wasn't very memorable, I guess, in using it. Um, says never pin again, set with heat, great for plaids and stripes, precise applicator. So it must be like, if you wanna line up um, like plaids or stripes. If you want to line those up, you can glue them down um, so that they do line up instead of trying to pin or clip like I do. Um, again, I think I used this once and it may be a good product. I just haven't used it enough. So, um, and again, sometimes they send products that you're going to use in your quilt pattern that you got. But speaking of the fabrics in the quilt pattern, I had this set aside to do. It's a project. This is my project bag. Never got to it. So someday I will. I Here's the fabrics that we got this month, which is Daydreams Beautiful Day Fat 8 Bundle. Cory Yoder, Cory Yoder for Moda Fabrics. They're gorgeous. I was going to make this quilt, but life kind of got in the way and it's sitting here waiting for me to come and do it. So this is a future project. I ordered the um, background. Let's see, the background. I must be using something else for background. Anyway, this is accent and borders. So 
This is, oh, I think I was going to use this as the background and the binding because I have a lot more here than I need. I, it was a year ago, so who knows what I was thinking. Um, maybe I was thinking a gray background would be better. So maybe it is. I don't know. It's beautiful. This is what I got. I'm ready to go. I just need to do it. So when I do, I will let you know when I get there. So the patterns are well written. I've done quite a few of them and I really like them. I like the pattern and I like the fabrics and it's going back in my project bag and I'm going to do that someday. So there you go. January 2022. So February 2022 Sew Sampler. We got the Kitchen Window Wovens Fat Eighth Bundle. I love these. I pulled them out so many times. I, I really want to use them so bad. I just haven't found the right application. I'm not a fan of the quilt this month. Um, you may be. I'm just not. So I didn't want to make this one. But man, do I love these fabrics. And when they talked about plaid last time, this could be a place to use the, from last month, this uh, seam align gentle hold fabric glue if you're trying to line up your plaids. But these are the Fat Eighth bundles. This is Elizabeth Hartman for Robert Kaufman. And again, I keep pulling these out. I really want to use them somewhere. Just haven't found where. We got 100% pure thread enhancing beeswax. I don't do a lot of hand sewing, so I haven't even tried this out. Um, it says, take control of your thread with natu the natural way with 100% pure hand poured beeswax from Texas Beekeepers. Lay a cut length of thread on the beeswax, grab the tail and hold down with your thumb. Pull across the wax, repeat opposite ends so that both ends are coated. I guess it makes it easier to thread your needles maybe when you're binding or something like that. I'm not sure, but I don't do a lot of hand stitching, so I haven't had a chance to try this out. We got clips. My I've used these clips. They're integrated into all my clips. If you watch any of my videos, you know this is pretty much exclusively what I use unless I'm doing a curve. So love those. I got these Just Better machine cleaning brushes. I was so excited for these when I got them. And as the years gone through, I've tried them and they just don't work like I would like them to. Um, they don't pull out as much thread. I still clean with a pipe cleaner. I just think it's really the best way to clean. It's the cheapest way. It really grabs the lint in your machine. So. I, I didn't really, I didn't like these as much as I thought I would. Unfortunately, um, I still like the pipe cleaner and the Swallows quilt pattern. So that's what the quilt pattern looked like this month. Like I said, I'm not doing it, um, but you may like it too. So I may be doing a giveaway that's maybe in there. So there you go. So. Yes, I have a pile of dirt right here, but that's a reason. Um, March 2022 is so sampler is gone coastal. And the first thing I want to address is this self cleaning silicone brush. It is something that I use on my mats and my table a lot. A clean sweep with the silicone brush keeps your cutting mat happy and clean. The two in one happy mat self cleaning silicone brush scrubs away stray thread, lint and dust with ease without damaging your cutting mat. It's a in a bright aquamarine color. See what it will wash away. S-E-A. See what it'll wash away. Anyway, uh, don't know why it's called two in one, but. So Future Carry here, as I was editing the video, I was looking at the tool and I see that there is kind of a brush side and a flat side, and that's why it's two in one. It's got two different sides to brush your tables off with and I did try the flat side and it works very good so just wanted to let you know I use it for cleaning and it's just it's like uh, using a washcloth it just wipes everything up for you I'm scooping it into my hand um, some of it will get caught in here and then I can throw it away and I got a clean table again and I use it on my mat also it's just that my mat isn't here 
So, you can obviously see it's a little dirty. I've used it so much. So I wanted to do that one first because I put that on there to show you what it was like. Um, let's go through here. We got the Riley Blake Beauty Trio, which I keep right by my machine. This is a hand lotion and this is lip balm. I use this also. I like it because I can do both lips at the same time. But anyway, these are kind of cool and I keep them by my machine um, just to have. So this is a hand sanitizer. I need to put this in my purse. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm sure it's it works. And then we have another project. I fell in love with this fabric when I saw it. So, yes, I'm working on this. And it's been a while, so I'm not sure what's in here, but we got Wipeout C and Me Junior Layer Cake by Stacy Lest Zoo for Moda Fabrics. And uh, this is this is okay the layer cake is down here and I've already cut it up but these fabrics were just so pretty I loved them and it came with a paper piece monkey wrench I call it a monkey wrench other people call it a snail trail here it is a quilt block foundation paper I like the paper piece, so this works out great for me. Um, the only issue I had with this was when you put your fabrics, this on your fabric, it is hard to see where the dark gray is. So I would just put an X on all my dark grays so that when I was looking at it, I knew that's where the color went. So the dark grays is where your color fabric goes and the white is where your white fabric goes. So I've gotten a few of these done and I've got more to do. But oh, and my mom, I picked this pattern out a long time ago and my mom's like, you wanted me to make you a quilt? Pick a, pick a block out. And this is the block I picked. I love this. I think these are great other than I just had to put an X on the grays so that I knew when my color went in there. That's what the pattern's gonna look like. Oh my God, I, can't, I need to get back to this. It's so pretty, I love it. Absolutely love it. This is what I chose for the backing is this orange starfish. And then this is the border. Obviously this is the background and this, this is the binding. So it will look like this when it's done. Oh my gosh, I need to get back. I've got all my pieces cut. They tell you, it tells you in these paper piecing exactly how to cut your pieces it gives you a list right here dark fabrics light fabrics and the instructions on how to do it so all the instructions are here all the cutting instructions are here and the paper piecing you just rip it off and you start putting it together you take your white and your darks let's see what do i got here oh i've got my white separated by the different sizes so so i could just grab them instead of putting them with these Oh gosh, I really need to get back to this. I don't know what happens, life gets in the way, so, you know, I need to come back to this. I can't wait, I need to just start doing it. Maybe set aside once a week or once a month or something to get back to it. Anyway, this was a great box, it really was. Um, so that is March 2022 Sew Sampler. So April 2022 sew sampler be creative and in this one we got two B plaid charm packs and this is by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet for Riley Blake Designs. These are super cute. I've been saving them again just like the other plaids. I really want to do something with these. I don't particularly want to do this. Um, <clears throat> it's not my favorite quilt so uh, you know, other people may like this. I may put it in as a giveaway also, but I want to find, I really have been wanting to find something to do with these. Um, the reason you got two in this one, it was their sixth anniversary of Sew Sampler. So they gave you a little extra in honor of it being the sixth anniversary. So you got two of the charm packs. Um, we got this Clover water erasable marker. I have not used this. I might have used it once when I couldn't find it. I tend to use 
these friction pens because they erase with heat. So as I iron, they'll go away. Um, but also, when you need when you need to keep your markings, it's not the best. But a lot of times I don't need to. So I am keeping this around just in case I'm in a point where I need to use something other than a heat erasing marking pen. These are Colonial Needle size 9 for, these are English made embroidery needles. Again, I don't use handwork, so I have not even used these. These will probably go in as a giveaway also. And then this beautiful Buckle Bee pin pendant from Buckle Bee Bags. Um, it's to keep your pins in here. I'm pretty sure what you do is as you're sewing and you can wear it and you just stick your pins in there so you don't lose them. I would think like this but again I don't use pins so this isn't really something I have used it's just hanging next to my sewing machine looking pretty at the moment so there you go and then we got the fat quarter shop exclusive Busby quilt pattern which their quilt patterns are always very easy to follow they're beautiful it's just not one that I want to make so this may go into a giveaway also so that is the April 2022 box. Be creative. Things like this I've never seen before. A lot of people may like to use these, maybe at a retreat, so that you aren't dropping pins and someone may step on them. Um, and they stay on your body, so if you're walking around and you need a pin, that would be a good application, I think. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you what kind of application you think would be good for this. So there you go, April 2022 Sew Sampler Box. So there you go, it was so much fun to revisit those boxes and uh, I'd like to know what you thought of the items I used, I kept, the quilts I made. i um, pretty proud of my mom for putting those beautiful quilts together and I got a, totally forgot I had a quilt to build and I bought all the other stuff so it was fun to revisit those. Um, let you know what items I kept and used out of there. Uh, so. Thank you so much for watching this. I want to talk about the giveaway now though. I am going to be giving away items from the April Sew Sampler Box, the one you just saw. So I'm going to throw in a picture right now of what I'm giving away. I want to let you know that this is only open to U.S. Uh, citizens right now, United States citizens. Um, this is my first giveaway. so. Until I get it all figured out, it's only open to U.S. citizens right now. It is open to any age. And there's a link down below that you can hit. So I'm going to set up the giveaway so that you answer a question. And it's going to be based on this video. So it's an easy question. I give a little hint. Um, but, you know, you'll, you'll take the link. You'll follow it. You'll put your email in. You'll have to confirm your email so we get legitimate people only. And then you can come back and answer the question you're entered into the giveaway. Anybody can enter this. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber or anything like that. I just am happy to give things away. I would love it if you'd subscribe and if you'd comment, but that is not required for this giveaway. The question that you will need to answer is, which quilt do I need to get back to work on? <laughs> I made it pretty clear. Uh, let's just say the hint is March was a good month. So there you go. Click the link down below. Um, you can enter in to win these items. I'll um, pick someone at random in five days. This was a lot of fun. I'm excited to give this away. Uh, part two, I hope to have a giveaway too, so stick with me. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when I put part two up. So if this goes well, I want to do more of these in the future because this is really fun. So thank you so much for such a great year. It was a fantastic year. I had so much fun with you. And uh, I'll see you in part two. Bye.